Merry Christmas Ascent. Welcome to our Christmas Eve service. This is gonna be short and sweet. I'm up here on the lookout. It's a little bit chip chilly, but I wanted to just say Merry Christmas. I'm excited that uh, you are here joining us online for our Christmas Eve service. And I just wanted to take a second and I wanna read uh, the chapter, uh, a few verses out of the chapter two in Luke. Um, talking about Jesus' birth and just taking time to reflect on what is really going to be celebrated tonight and tomorrow. Remember, Mary and Joseph had just traveled from Nazareth to Bethlehem. She's nine months pregnant. She was probably on a donkey and walking. So ladies, you kind of know what that would feel like. But it says in Luke chapter 2, verse 1, it says, In those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken in the entire Roman world. And everyone went to his own town to register. And so Joseph went to, from Nazareth to, in Galilee to Judea and to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be his wife, and she was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And as we think about this, uh, Mary and Joseph, they've traveled a long distance. It's, it's taken days, maybe a week to travel that far. And finally they get into town and there's no place to stay except for a stable. And what a humbling experience or an idea to know that Jesus was born to parents who don't have a lot of money. He was born in a place where there wasn't the comforts of home. And after he is born, the first people to visit are the shepherds, the lowly shepherds. And it kind of goes just from the very beginning of Jesus' life, he is in a humble situation. He's not rich. He's not famous. And these shepherds, they are the ones that the angel appears to, and they arrive first to worship the newborn king. And as we think about that, we don't have to be rich. We don't have to have a lot of wealth. We don't have to have a lot of clout in our community. All we have to have is Jesus in our hearts to worship him. All we have to do is believe in Jesus and we can worship him. And what a glorious thing that is. We don't have to jump through hoops. We don't have to um, pay taxes to worship Jesus. Jesus is here for each and every one of us. And that's why we celebrate this Christmas time. I hope next year we can all be together in a nice warm place where we can worship Christmas Eve together. And remember next week, this coming Sunday, we are only online. Uh, I got something a little bit special planned. It's not going to be a long drawn out thing just like this is. We're not going to take much more time here. <clears throat> but remember Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, Saturday night at 5 o'clock right here online on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, remember to catch us and uh, celebrate Jesus. God bless, Merry Christmas, and I look forward to seeing you all next year.